Hey guys, so I'm in uh, Dallas, Texas, or uh, I don't think I'm in Dallas right now, but I'm in the Dallas area for work, um, doing some training, and I found this Thai Plaza, which I believe is a grocery store, and I'm going to go in there and see what kind of fruits and vegetables they have there. All right, we're in the store now, and... Um, this is my first voiceover, so bear with me. This is all different kinds of mint we've got going on here. I've never seen so many different kinds of mint. Um, and uh, here we've got some scallions and some broccoli, which I recognize. Celery, cilantro, some more spring onions. Here's some young Thai coconuts, some green mangoes, and some pears. Now, there's not much in this store that I recognize, but I recognize the pears and some grapes. And then there were some apples. I did recognize all of that. Um, this whole freezer here section was full of dried fish. Just any kind of dried fish you can imagine. Mostly shrimp, anchovies, just all kinds of dried fish that I, you know, they obviously use in their cooking somehow, but just tons of dried fish. Um, then here we've got a uh, a frozen cassava, and then I thought, oh, well, what's this? This looks interesting, and then I look at it, and here it's just, uh, it's just boiled sweet corn, so that's not too exciting. Okay, here's the deal. These, this Thai um, grocery store was full of vegan fake meat. I have never seen so much vegan fake meat in my life. That was some prawns. There was some bacon. We've got, um, that was just some mixed vegetable roll. Um, we've got, what's this? Um, beef chunk, vegetarian beef chunk. Then we've got uh, chicken patty, vegetarian chicken patties, vegan beef balls. Um, I've just never, I, I didn't know all this fake meat existed. I don't normally eat fake meat, but I can't believe that so many Thai people eat fake meat. This was, um, that was just some tofu there. Um, this just says imitation meat. And um, then I think we got, oh, crown ham. Uh, but all this is vegan, supposedly. And then, so this is these are all just hams, vegan ham. Ham, 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 ham. And then we get to this. This is funny. This is fresh vegetarian fish. Although it's frozen. Frozen fresh fish. Um, here, that's a tuna roll. So, I mean, they're calling this one a tuna roll. And then we've got this one here, which is haddock. So we got ve vegetarian haddock. And then this one here is codfish. I, I, I can't imagine that these all taste different from one another. And then I thought this was funny because this was the lucky ham, which yeah, I guess it was lucky because it didn't get killed. It just got made. Here we've got some king mushrooms. Those are great for like a scallop. They kind of make like scallops. Those were some bean sprouts. Here's a great big um, taro root. I've never eaten taro root. Um, I probably will someday. I think I can get those where I live. Um, this was a fuzzy squash, and it was fuzzy. It was like fuzzy on the outside. It doesn't look fuzzy, but it was fuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy wuzzy. And um, here's a long squash. Uh, we call these something different. Um, I know I've seen these in my grocery store, but again, that's nothing I've ever tried. Look at what I've seen. My first durian I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing went right in the cart. We'll talk about that later. Um, they were frozen, but there was a whole bunch of them. And I was just, I was just so excited. I only see these things on YouTube. And there it was, the durian. Um, here we got some lotus root, which I've made chips out of before. Um... Those were already sliced, those. Uh, here we go with some canned stuff. We got some canned jackfruit. And then all these gels, sweet coconut gel, pineapple gel. I, I don't know what they use all these gels for. I've, um, I've never bought gel before like that. Lye water, doesn't that sound delicious? A couple different brands of lye water. I thought lye was poisonous. I don't know, what do I know? So here we got chrysanthemum juice, lychee, passion fruit, sugar cane, mangosteen, mango, pennywort, pennywort, soursop, roasted coconut, tamarind, aloe vera, passion fruit. So all different, uh, all different kinds of uh, juices there. 
Here is a big bag of vegetarian seasoning, and it says it has green taste. Have no idea what that means. Um, here's the little bamboo shoot section, which um, I think these are in big pieces. I'm used to seeing things that, you know, skinny rectangles. Uh, here we had some uh, purple rice. I have no idea. I've never seen purple rice. This whole aisle was full of packaged seasonings. I've never seen so many packaged seasonings in my entire life in one place. And here was a whole aisle, just packet after packet after packet of seasonings. Um, here I scored some palm sugar, which I needed. Um, the other day when I made my pad thai, I used coconut sugar, but it called for palm, and I bought that. This whole aisle was full of pickled items, all kinds of weird pickled things, which I have no idea what most of them were, but um, it was the pickled aisle jar, jar of pickled stuff. Uh, yep, pickled, pickled, pickled. Um, I did find some whole pickled eggplant, and it they does not look like eggplant at all. Um, here it is. Look, look, nope, it looks more like p potatoes or ping pong balls or something, but those were pickled eggplant. Okay, now here we're in the um, jarred aisle. This was jarred seasonings, a whole aisle, every single seasoning you could possibly want in a jar. If you couldn't find it in a packet, you could find it in a jar, because here it was. This was the jarred seasoning aisle. Jar after jar after jar. Um, not sure what aisle I'm in here now, but I found some weird stuff here. Um, there was a bag of lotus root seeds. Not those. Not sure what those were. Here they were. Here's the lotus root seeds. I have no idea what you would use those for. Lotus root seeds. Um, here's some dried black olives. And then here I was excited, again, because this was an ingredient I needed for my pad thai. It had called for some uh, dried sweet radish, and I think this is what they were talking about, because they've dedicated um, at least half of an aisle to salted radish or sweet radish, plus there was some salted turnips in there. But um, I, there were so many brands I didn't know, I grabbed a bag of sweet radish. So we'll see if that makes my pad thai any better. Then the rest of this aisle was all um, different nori sheets for sushi. And happy to see some organic nori there. And uh, then they had some dried bamboo. So, yep, dried bamboo. Now this was exciting. Back up here for a second. This, which they're calling dried ructurillo or something. I don't know what they're calling it. But I swear these are goji berries. And if you've ever bought goji berries at like Whole Foods, you know how expensive they are. You get a little bag for like nine bucks. And this was probably, oh, at least five or six times the amount. And it was like six bucks for a big bag. Those were dried lily bulbs and then dried lotus roots. Again, I don't know what you would use dried lily bulb for. Um, those were dried, that was some dried carrot. And then we're going to get into a whole half of an aisle of dried mushrooms. So these are all dried mushrooms, but of course they call them fungus. So, I mean, fungus just to me doesn't sound um And then we had some dried bean curd sticks there, but dried fungus doesn't sound so yummy. And then now I've only seen this next thing in powdered form. I don't know if it's agar agar or agar agar. I'm not sure. But they had great big bags of it. So uh, I'm not sure what they're using it for in such a big quantity like that. Um, these were just some rice paper and tapioca sheets. And there we had the grass jelly drink. Now check this out. It was a jar of sea cucumbers. Those poor little sea cucumbers. Oh, I felt so bad. And then here we go, back with the vegan meats. I found another s whole thing of it. That was smoked duck. We got smoked goose. I mean, really? Smoked goose? What's that? I think that was the goose. Um, nope, there's the goose. Smoked goose. Then we had some bacon. This was bacon. And some, uh, oh, I don't even know what that was. And we had some dried or vegan crab, diced crab. So there you go. Okay, I want to talk about this durian here. So um, 
Yeah, I, so I got this durian. I'm, I'm traveling, I'm in Dallas, and I don't have anything to open this thing with. So I noticed they sold knives, and I'm like trying to find a knife, and I'm going to need a big one. And I was looking at spending about 20 bucks on a knife. And so I went to the counter because I had no idea. I'm like, what, what kind of knife would you use to open this? And the woman looked at me like I was just crazy. And she's like, well, you don't have to open it. You know, we, we sell this. We sell it already, you know, the just the fruit out of the inside. And oh, I was like, okay, that's perfect. So, because I, I wasn't looking forward to cutting this thing open. Plus, it was frozen. I didn't know how long it would take to thaw. So, the kid, a kid took me back and showed me where to get this frozen durian. And it said it needed to be thawed in the refrigerator. And, um, and that's what I did. I brought it back to the hotel and I thawed it in the refrigerator. And that is going to be my next video. So I hope you like this video. You need to check out me tasting my durian for the first time. Um, I'm going to put that up next. But but anyway, I'm so excited to see it. And um, and yeah, the kid the kid did tell me he he likes it. It's okay. He likes it. But you if you can get past the smell. And I've seen on YouTube that people say it smells. Um, I wasn't quite prepared. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed bringing it to you. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.